cozy friends. Do you ever have those weeks where you're like, it's all too much? This was a high stress, just packed, packed week. And you need to just have a cozy day. You need to set aside an entire day for coziness. Maybe slip in a few chores and, and that's okay. That's what I want for today. And if you want to do some activities along with me, do that. All right. First, I'm going to do a little biking. I'm going to do a little bit of exercise because I have started getting into a ritual of like watching YouTube videos or listening to audiobooks while I work out and it's become a nice part of my day. It's going to allow me just to feel good and have that like, you know, natural serotonin in my brain because it does, it really does help. This is my bike. Usually I'll watch a vlog while I bike. Today, I am so close to finishing a quart of thorns and roses. I'm so close to finishing. So I'm gonna. Okay, my workout got interrupted because our ice maker hasn't been working for like a year. I know. And the guy replaced the ice maker. He's like, all right, it should take like 72 hours to start making ice. It never made ice. So I put in a work notice yesterday and he just came in the middle of my workout and I was like, okay, I need you to take everything off the top of the fridge and I'll come back and then I'll check the back of, of the fridge. So right, we shall reclaim this cozy day later. All right, for now, work. I just saw we had this sparkling pumpkin spice. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm drink that. Finished my workout, finally. The guy's still working on the fridge and I got a little bit of last minute work. So this is a good lesson that sometimes you can plan an entire day. You can plan that you're gonna have the entire day to yourself to unwind and relax and stuff is gonna come up, but you can't let it ruin your entire day. You can't let it be like, okay, now I can't have a cozy day. Now I have to, no. You can just work through it, make time for it and get back on track, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shower, have a little cozy outfit set here that I'm gonna put on after. Okay, I just did my skincare, but it is not a cozy day without a little body care, all right? So I have my Fenty lotion, my chai body spray, so I'm gonna be putting that on. I don't have pants on, so I'm not gonna be standing up. I love it. Pick out some cozy earrings out of my cozy earring collection. Pancake ones, I have cookie ones, I have these little pies, strawberries, switches, and then I just got these. Aren't they adorable? I think I'm gonna go with the pancakes because I like how they hang. And I get all of these from Moonflower Clay. And I just stay on her Instagram like I have notifications on for her Instagram. Now for the venture to, to get food to get my cozy breakfast. <laughs> okay, I just had another blip in the day. I had to rescue Azula from outside because our maintenance worker let her get out basically. And we didn't know and Maya was looking for her and I was on my way out to get a package and I was like, I'll look under my bed, like it's probably fine. As I was coming back from the package room, I heard wow. Wow. And I was like, oh my god, Azula. And I look under the, the bench we have outside and she's just curled up in the corner just going Wah. So I went and I collected her. She was good about it. She, seen, she doesn't seem that startled, so I think she's good. But I don't think she's going to go out the door again. Hmm. Okay, here's the situation. I have everything that I need for a cozy day on my bed. It's literally all just sitting here. I have my laptop for playing Sims. Journals and planners to plan. Coloring book. Uh, magazine. To browse for for recipes i have all my cozy drinks over here and fruit and veggie pouches and my cats are around she was under the bed because i was vacuuming what i'm going to do first is plan and submit the concept that i have to submit because that was the only two like kind of work type things i have to do all while listening to a court of thorns and roses i'm going to finish it today I just like, even being productive is cozy sometimes for me. Like having a little bit of productivity makes me so happy. Makes me feel like I deserve the like cozy, calm, relaxation time. So this is my new Alienware laptop. I did a brand collab with them. I love this thing. I love this thing. Sims on this, like so clean, highest settings, smooth. 
I did the concept. That is a wait off and it's only 2 p.m. So I have like literally the rest of the day to just get cozy. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little planning. There's not much to plan because I don't have much to plan, y'all. I don't, I'm not doing much. Today and tomorrow, I'm trying to keep it, keep it clear. Sunday, I have Super Smash Finals. So that's gonna be a really fun day. Saturday, I need to go to UPS and I'm not doing that today. Okay, these little sticky notes from Target are so nice. They have like a move one, a mood one, a water one, and then a habit one. And it comes in a four pack. And they're so nice because I can just stick it on here because this one doesn't have a habit tracker. And I could just track how many times I do movement. So since my goal is three to four times a week, look at that. Already did it. Already it's Friday. <laughs> since my goal is three to four times a week, it's really nice to be able to like see my progress throughout the week and then the thing i like about this planner which at first i was like i'm never gonna use this there's a goal setting page so it has like a bunch of goals and like deadlines and motivations and rewards which i don't know why but i was just like this is not doing it for me like i'm not gonna use this i don't have any like goals like career goals or like i just don't have goals and then i thought about it i was like yes i do they're like small things you know but i have one of them is complete my um, start of year reset. So all of my admin to do's. And then here I just have like a workout three to four times a week. And then I have week one, week two, week three, week four. That's a simple goal, a simple one. Week three, I completed. I only have one more week. And then my reward for that was a brunch date with my partner. So we do those a lot anyways, but I wanna reward myself with a brunch date. Putting productivity aside, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna listen to me a little of my book. And I'm gonna scroll on Pinterest. I'll let you watch, but for a prize. <laughs> I'm kidding. As I was escorted to the throne room. I'm almost done with it and then I'm on the last chapter it got absolutely wild it got buck wild so I'm like I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna get some lunch I think oh my god it was good it was good I'm still a little bit salty about the fact that I feel like a big chunk of the book was plot dumped right when the conflict was kicking off I feel like it was plot dumped. Like all of the plot was just like one conversation. It was good nonetheless. It was good. It was entertaining. And that's all it needs to be. That's all it needs to be. Okay, this might be a weird lunch, but hear me out. So I have dumplings with like soy sauce, soup dumplings. I It is specifically soy sauce. It's not the soup dumpling sauce from Costco. Um, I have salt and vinegar kettle chips with the bush, bush, bushing non-dairy dip. It's so good. And then I have a LaCroix. So, it's such a good combination. Like it slaps so much. I can't explain how much. It's so good. It's so good. And I have Point of Mist and Fury ready to go. I'm gonna just be reading and eating, reading and eating. for this i forgot papier i got a bunch of stuff from papier papier one of those being i bought this i didn't it was i was not gifted it oh ow oh not ow just weird weird feeling whoa this feels so weird it's like um this shape and if i put my finger along it that feels so weird. That's weird, but it's really cute. It's like a nice little gold bookmark. Doesn't mess up the pages. You can just scoop, put it in. Perfect, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading. And then magazines and coloring. I 
read a couple chapters. I'm gonna leave it at that for today. I'm gonna take these earrings off because I wanna get kind of like comfy in bed. It's magazine time, y'all. I have these little baby post-its. I already um, saved a couple, but I haven't gone all the way through this. We'll see, we'll see what we think. This one is one of my favorites. It looks so good. It's like a pancake blueberry casserole. Definitely saving that. whole tater tot section and i really don't like tater tots so okay this one looks pretty good it is a blue cheese broccoli au gratin which sounds good but i hate blue cheese so i wonder if i could swap it for goat cheese or just another creamy cheese i think so all right look at that we've got several recipes if we ever want it I'm doing this one. He's playing Five Nights at Freddy's. It's hilarious. still finishing up coloring but i'm starting i'm just i'm loading up the sims okay loading up the sims i'm gonna show you what i've got going so far so i made this girly pop yesterday and then i have to choose which i, I usually just start in spring because I, I think i'm gonna start in summer actually i usually do oasis springs but i think i'm gonna do the la-ish one let's do furnished for now hey girl no thanks okay i usually just do money cheats like i'm i'm not really one to like really get into the storyline of sims i just do money cheats so i forget her name i didn't i just randomize the names usually what is her name bell ayers okay i got the new like the pack it's like the kind of fashiony pack so she has like cottage core hair and then she's wearing the fashiony pack so i'm gonna like redo this whole thing um but i love the, the cul-de-sac she's on it's very cute this is literally what i'll be doing for the rest of the night i might show you an update um but also my partner's coming so i don't know if i'll have that much time i probably won't finish enough to give you an update but if i do i'll put like a picture here and if not whatever <laughs> anyways y'all this was such a good cozy day this was like the day i've been needing for so 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 long like just forcing myself to like actually get through all of the activities that i want to do that make me feel so happy and warm and cozy we did magazines we did coloring we're doing gaming reading and audiobooks and journaling i love combining all of my little cozy interests and hobbies into one day i definitely want to do more of these because i have so many i literally have a bag over there i have a bag over there of like a bunch of stuff i got like knitting stuff crochet stuff watercolor stuff oil painting stuff those are part of my skillshare classes that i need to watch so so i want to do those in a future vlog so i'm excited for that i hope you can have a little cozy time while i had a little cozy time or it inspires you to have cozy time schedule a little cozy day for yourself if you can't do once a week once a month once every two weeks whatever works for you and your schedule that's it i love you so much stay cozy 